Ian. Good morning, bro. Yes, good morning. How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm good. How is, how is it now in Scotland on this time? Do you know what? I don't know why. It, why? Because you called maybe it's true. We've got sunshine today. Uh -huh. Which is a very unusual. Yeah. The reason that we invited you here in the program is the latest single, There Are Days. Okay. Lovely. It's a beautiful new song. Oh, thank you very much for that. I'm really pleased you like it. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell, about, tell us about more uh, this song, uh, the text uh, from, from this song. Really? Well, um, it's about those days where you really can't go on. You're, you're, you're struggling with life. You're, hold, you're trying to hold up the sky from falling down the top of your head. It's just it's black days. It's just my love letter to other people to say that I know how you feel and we're in it together. That's really it. Yeah. Your music has a very special style. Ah. Um, it's a kind of mixture of things. It's, it's, you know, it's a mixture of all the things that, that I like. Um, big beat, big chorus, but the piano, it's a bit different. I mean, um, I wanted to make it a little bit different to make sure that it wasn't the same as everybody else's and just take a chance. Um, a lot of people will, will write songs and think, how will I sound in the radio? But I, I'm too old now to think how it's going to sound in the radio in some respects. I just want to write a song that kind of, that, that has some sort of meaning with it and people can, they can make up their own minds after that. Uh, you wrote, you wrote text of this song by yourself? Uh, it's a co-write with, uh, uh, a guy called Gordon McNeil. He kind of sent me the basic idea and then we worked on it together. So it's a co-write. Yeah. I see uh, you are a songwriter, composer, producer. <laughs> oh, a lot of things. I am. I'm, 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 also, I'm also an author as well. I've got a, I've got a novel out yeah. um, called A Rainbow in the Basement. So I'm, I do a bit of everything. Uh, a lot of things. Your career is more than 40 years. Uh, I have seen on the on, on the internet. I see the name of the band. Uh, the band. Hi to you. Hi to you. The wave band. Is well, I've, but I've, yeah. I think, well, well, we were we were called each two all, and we were out in the eighties, and uh, we had a we had two or three hits in the UK. Some places in Europe and a bit in America as well. You might remember a song called "I Dream to Sleep." Does that ring a bell? Yeah, yeah. Was it in 1983? Yeah, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, that's, that's yeah. 1983. Yeah, and just uh, and just outside heaven. Just outside of heaven. That's right. That was a follow-up. Yeah. After that band, you, uh, I see the name the Four Good Men. Yes, that was uh, that was a bit of an experiment. That was a that was a lot of fun. It was uh, Mick and Derek from Simple Minds and Bruce Watson from Big Country, and we had Robbie Williams drummer, and we had two girl two girls playing bagpipes, and we toured America and Canada and some bits in Europe as well. We had a lot of good, we had a lot of good fun. We were doing the kind of hits. We were doing the hits of Simple Minds because of the boys that were in Simple Minds, and we did some big country stuff because of Bruce being a big country but did a couple of H2O songs a lot of fun yeah. uh, what what is your meaning about music for you it's, it, well it's going to sound a, a bit cheesy but music's everything that's the thing that keeps me connected to the, the planet I just love music I'll be singing till they, they nail the clock and let down I just you know it's it's everything to me that's my whole life is music and writing. That's it. I'm, that's why I'm still doing it at, at, at my age. A lot of people will go be in bands for the glamour or, you know, a short term or try and make some money and look at it as a business. I've never looked at it as a business. I've always looked at it as, for me, the song is the God with a small G. It's the most important thing. That's the thing that you live or die by. And to leave some songs behind that mean something to someone is, is what it's all about for me. 
Uh, is, is it, uh, uh, what is your meaning about the music from 40 years ago and now? Eh? Is it very, very different? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's different. Well, it's, yeah, it's, that's a brilliant question. Nobody's asked me that one yet, but it, it, it's different. I mean, I was writing, uh, you know, as a young man then. Yeah. I'm writing as a, you know, we were, spo we were called New Romantics. Well, now I'm an old romantic. So... Nowadays, I'm just writing about things that matter to me now at my age, bearing in mind that, you know, the people that liked each show and whatever I did back then, you know, they've had heartbreak, they've, they've married, they've divorced, they've had kids, they've lost people, and I just want to, to sing about things that, that will resonate with people my age as well. Yeah. You can also... A lot, a lot of people, a lot... Yeah, you sorry. can you can also, that changing from style... Uh, believe it in the UK uh, on the radio uh, is that changing that music style in, in, in the UK it, it, it is, uh, the, I tend to listen to radio too now which is kind of older songs because most of radio um, in the UK is kind of formulated it's the same kind of 30 or 40 songs over and over and over um, and The other stations are really the, are for young people. They're for there's a lot of R and B. There's a lot of dance music. I don't fit into any of those categories anymore. And that's the exciting thing about the new radio stations: yeah. playing new music by new young bands, but also playing new music by older people as well. That's the exciting thing for me. That's what I found with people, speaking to people, people like you and Geert, that the, there's a, an appetite for new things that don't fit into the kind of the obvious formula, and that's. I think that major radio stations are missing the point by keeping giving us the same thing over and over. The, there's a lot of new music that people want to hear, um, and it's, it's happening. It was a kind of radio kind of revolution happening, I believe. Yeah. Do you write? Do you write the most of your songs uh, by yourself? Yes, I do. Um, I do. This was a, this happened to be just an idea that uh, my friend had. He also plays drums on, on my, my records. And it's and I record in his studio, but most of the time I do it alone. I just I, I've got a keyboard at home and a little setup, and I just I basically do my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. What 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 gives the inspiration in your life to make to write the songs? Um, it's a bit like I said earlier on. If you don't if you don't work at life, uh, well then there's no life in your work. Yeah. So I stay connected to people and I stay connected to the world. And it, it just comes out naturally after that. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a beautiful video. Uh, I have seen a beautiful video on, uh, on, on, on YouTube. Where is Make It That? Uh, no, that, that's a, a place quite close to Glasgow. It's a place called Hamilton. And it's an old mausoleum. Yeah. It belongs to a, a, a wealthy family. Um, and now that it's part of, of the council on it, but it's basically uh, a mausoleum, so it's a tomb for the old for, for members of this old family. Um, and it's kind of built, and we didn't use any cameras, uh, sorry, we didn't use any uh, lighting. The the light was was through a skylight in the top of the building, and so we just we just used that for, and that's why the light changes all the time. Uh, but it's an amazing place. It's a bit like get into some, a Masonic place or something from the Knights Templar or it's a really strange kind of feeling. Lovely building. Yeah. Well, um, uh, we are now, we're living now in, in the half of September. You have no more plans for the rest of this year? No, no, no. There's, there's plenty going on. Well, I've got a new song out in a, in a month's time um, and I've made a new video for that as well. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a, a live festival okay. or that's going to be streamed and uh, bands like Wet 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 and Sandy Tom and a few others are going to be doing it too so I'll be on there with my band doing five songs and that will be um, yeah. on the 30th of November uh -huh. um, Where can the listeners more f uh, find more information about you on the social media? It's on all the songs are on all the usual platforms. It's on Spotify, and um, I've got loads of information on on my my Facebook page as well, which I like to so I can keep up in contact with people. So they can find me on SoundCloud, or they can find me on Facebook, 
all the team found uh, the music on uh, Spotify and DistroKid, all the play, all the usual places and YouTube. Yeah. But you're going today also things uh, with music. Yes, I'm, I'm I'm writing songs for the next the next album. So since lockdown, I've written five new songs. So I'm just continually. I, I want to get up to another eight. Mm -hmm. um, and that will then after an album, then I'll start recording it. Uh -huh. On the first place, I would I, 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 I thank you very much that I can speak with you this morning in my uh, program here. Uh, I will ask you a final word from you to all the listeners and I go play the song There Are Days. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> a last, a last word for you. A last word from from you to all the listeners. Uh, thanks for listening to what I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the record. Look after yourselves. Love one another, and uh, have a good day. Have a good life. Uh, very, no, uh, very, uh, thank you. Thank you for the conversation and the greetings here from Spain to Scotland. Love them, mate. Thank you very much, Will. Thank you. I, I really appreciate you calling. Take care of yourself. Yeah, Bye, thank mate. you. Bye.